day two of Intersolar EES Europe. And uh, we're joined by Mike Hong, who is the president at Kokum, Korean high power battery company, recently acquired by Solar Edge, very much still an entity in its own right. Am I right in thinking that while Solar Edge will cover mostly the residential and small commercial end of the market, Kokum remains mostly within large scale grid applications? Correct, yes. Right, right, right. right. Um, since the Solar Edge is one of the most strongest uh, solar inverter company, mm -hmm. so they will focusing on residential CNI uh, storage system. Okay. And you know, the, uh, the topic of debate in the battery storage industry at the moment um, is really the choice of technologies, right? So I think over the next few months, we're going to look at things other than the battery that impact on costs. But today, since we have a, you know, a good battery company in front of us, um, yeah, tell us a little bit about Kokum's NMC batteries. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about the dynamics of NMC versus LFP. Sure. Whether it's a controversial subject or not. Sure. Let us yeah. know. Sure. Yeah, so it's a very interesting subject, a never ending discussion in the past 20, maybe let's say 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the NMC and ion phosphate, they, uh, they both, it's good chemistry, and then it's, it's widely been selected in many system integrators, any, many customers today. So I can't say that one specific chemistry is much better than the others because it's totally different chemistry and then different purpose of use. Of course, we're using them for the same energy storage system today. So Kokum NMC technology, or an in general uh, NMC nickel uh, manganese cobalt battery, it can perform at a very high power and, and has a good energy density. Um, and also, the, it has a very long cycle life. Uh, lithium ion phosphate, uh, it, it also has a good power and also good characteristic. While that it's a very obvious that energy density is about 30% lower than NMC technology. That's pretty proven technical uh, Effect right. itself, right? Sure, sure, sure. So I think it's a more likely customer choice which battery you will choose. If you really need a compact battery and then high energy density, long cycle life, people go with NMC battery. But if you want to use very low temperature, high temperature without any cooling system, uh, maybe it could be a good selection for using iron phosphate battery. Right. But while a lot of system integrator battery packaging manufacturers, uh, they do packaging NMC battery and they do leaky cool and there's a lot of different heating cooling design around the battery system if you want to use it for electric vehicle or ESS. So it depends on engineering approach. I think uh, both chemistry could be a good solution for in the lithium ion battery industry, I believe. Okay, okay. And I mean, the thing that, you know, perhaps people sometimes miss is that it's not just the choice of battery cell, it's the way that battery is then connected to the system, exactly. managed, and what it does. So, I mean, what are some of the sort of strategies of managing batteries that are kind of used in Copen systems? And, you know, how have those been developed as well? So, in past 20 years, uh, we're very actively invest, uh, investing and also developing on lithium ion battery cell. At the same time, battery management uh, system electronic software platform. Mm -hmm. Because that's the key of how do you make the really battery system to safe uh, at the battery module level, cell level, battery rec level, system level. There must be a lot of layer of the protection, and every protection will be managed and controlled by the BMS. Mm -hmm. So this is why the BMS is the key technology of the system, of energy storage system today. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've been actively uh, developing the software platform, how to protect, and, and we understand chemical material behavior itself. And we have a 20 years of uh, our NMC battery data. So over time being, not just looking at temperature or uh, the, the voltage, the, the parameter that you can see 
at the moment, you can forecast how this battery will behave five years, 10 years, 15 years later, considering that data. So I think a BMS industry, uh, not industry, it's a BMS itself, becoming more big data uh, technology, part of the big data, uh, electronics, I think. Obviously, being from Korea, which is a pretty advanced market in terms of energy storage, if I haven't already said that about three times already, uh, you know, I guess there's a lot that's been learned there that can come to other markets now. Um, I mean, in this year and maybe next year, we don't want to look too far ahead, you know, it's one thing at a time. Uh, what are some of the, firstly, the geographical regions and markets that you're excited about? And secondly, I guess the applications within those markets that you'll see. Uh, I think uh, today is hybrid system. So combining with the gas diesel turbine, with battery, plus renewable resources, wind or solar, of course, uh, most of combining hybrid system is connected with the solar panel. And then uh, application side, uh, not only limiting to large utility scale solar farm, and, and there's a lot of offshore mining and uh, microgrid isolated area, the island, there's a lot of different uh, application is pop so it's very interesting because a lot of customers bringing new application not only limiting to just stores and solar itself. Okay. So combining with the existing uh, power resources generation uh -huh. with the renewable source and battery together, yeah. I think there's a lot of uh, benefits uh, in the future. I'm sure there's lots of different applications, but so sort of what sort of areas are you getting customers from? There's a lot of commercial, industrial, a lot of utility, a lot of, uh, you know, in the US you have independent power producers or developers. So sort of what kind of uh, people are coming to you now? What kind of stakeholders are coming to you now for these solutions? Today, uh, the most of our major customers are the oil and gas platform, which are looking for the most highest level of the safety, reliable level of lithium ion battery. That's number one. The second would be the utility scale, the battery storage system uh, has to run 15, 20 years, which is a long cycle life battery is required. And of course, uh, the high power application. And the fourth is a very complexity combination of application. So not just not only limiting to peak shaving or renewables and storage, frequency regulation and UPS, voltage support, and many different multi-different uh, functionality, uh, so this is a, what is a coke and battery system is good at.